G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode. Uh, obviously we had Camp for a Cure last week. We did and we just wanted to jump in here quickly and let you know how much we raised and how good the weekend was, yeah, if um, we do say so ourselves. <laughs> there's a lot, of, a lot of people, a lot of you want to know how much we raised and how much we donated to Love Your Sister. Um, so we'll get into that now. Uh, so first of all, Last week, last Friday, it all kicked off. Yep. Uh, the numbers, we worked out to be 524 people. At last count, Which yep. is awesome. I think there'd be a few more when you consider food trucks and everything. Yep. Um, but Wild, wild, considering we were worried about getting 100 people there. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it is crazy. Um, absolutely amazing turnout. Uh, now, the worst scenario happened, it rained. Yes, but... but but we made it through it. We yep, just you stuck it out with us and yep, it was awesome. We prevailed and uh, got through it. With 524 people there, it's just amazing that there was no rubbish. Yeah, we just wanted to say thank you because every afternoon I'd do a walk or all night when everyone had gone, I'd do a walk around and you know, just try and clean up everything, but there was nothing to clean up. Mm, and there were no bins there. <laughs> which, yeah, so. which is wild, because there was no bins. Yeah, so. so that's awesome of everyone that came that yes. you actually did that. We love that, thank you so much, that's amazing. awesome. Um, so we've already said thank you a couple of times already, and we're going to keep saying there thank you. There is so many thank yous. Oh, we won't we won't go through names, but yeah, we will say thank you to a few specific people though: uh, Bryce and Chelsea, Caravan Adventure Oz, yeah. and uh, Grant and Bianca from Living Like Kings. Yes, they've been helping us out for a long time, and um, amazing to have them along with us. Yes, we couldn't have run the weekend without them. So. Yeah, it was absolutely amazing having them. Uh, our friends and family, they all got stuck in and did so much yeah. and really helped out. Uh, we would have been up that creek without a paddle if uh, <laughs> they weren't there helping us because we're running around like headless chooks most of the time. Mm -hmm. um, all the volunteers, heaps of people we'd never met before. Yes. They know us, we don't know them. They just came in and got stuck in. Yeah, it was so amazing. amazing. Without them too, we would have been lost. Yes. Uh, what else? The bands. So uh, Jalian, Ricky Wood and The Grin. All amazing, so good. They put up with the weather. Yes. Um, we did interfere with yeah the stage and everything, so yeah. we did have some troubles there, but they persevered and yeah. it was still awesome. All got through it. Uh, Bruce from The Grin, he did the sound for us. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for, for really getting through that, mate, because obviously with the rain and everything yes. and all that expensive equipment, I know that must be tricky, but he did and such a good stressful. job. <laughs> yes, was a bit stressful there. <laughs> Um, what do we got? All the companies that donated products and yeah, for the for the uh, raffles, it was amazing how much stuff we had. Yeah, we really honestly are so privileged to work with some amazing businesses yeah. um, and all of them were so, so generous. Yes. So yeah, all those people we work with and a few others, thank you so much for everything. It's just amazing. Yes. The food trucks, yes, because obviously... <laughs> we had that little issue. Yeah, so Gucci Creek had the issue where they couldn't do pizzas anymore or coffee. So luckily, between us and Nikki from Gucci Creek, we organised enough and they all rocked up, like, 11th hour. Yeah, just really pulled together. And yeah. they all helped each other out too, which yeah, was, was amazing. Awesome. Uh, and then that brings me to Nikki. Nikki. Thank you, Nikki from Gucci Creek. Yes. She just... She works tirelessly it. and it should, nothing's just ever an issue and she's just lovely. Yeah, so she is amazing. Yep. Thank you for that. Yes. Uh, but most of all, the main people we have to thank is all of you that were there. Yeah. So many of you showed up and um, just made it such a good weekend. Everyone just said it was such a good vibe and that's really... There's no other reason for that other than the crew that was there. So. That's right. That's all you. That's not us. We, yep. didn't, we didn't bring the vibe. Yeah. Uh, that was all you. Um, yeah, and thank you to everyone who donated, even if you weren't there. Lots of people have donated to the uh, My Cause on the Love Your Sister page. Yeah. Amazing. Yes. Um, so we will still get to how much we've donated. Just we'll get there. Yes. Don't you worry. <laughs> um, what else do we need to talk about? We've just got about? a little list under the camera if you can't tell. <laughs> yeah, if you see our eyes ducking down because there's just so much to go through. We won't ramble for too long though. Yeah. It's literally just supposed to be a quick thing. Yeah. But... <laughs> um, obviously, the other thing is I now have no hair. Um, it came off. We uh, donated that to Variety and uh, Grant cut his off. We had another lady, Jude. Yep. Yep. I she, think, I think. she. I think her name's Jude. I'm sorry, Jude, if that's wrong. Um, <laughs> or not Jude. She, 
<laughs> she, um, yeah, last minute said, I'd like to do it too. She had long hair. Um, so that was awesome. So that helped actually raise more money. We um, really got there and rounded up some more money for that. And um, I want to know, what do you think about it? Is it better <laughs> Should or is we glue it the other hair back on? Or? Do I look 12 years old? Because <laughs> that's what I've been copping since. Um, but then I'll get you to put in a little photo, the, um, the, the mullet. Oh, yeah. Because we went through a few stages favorite. of haircuts. Should I go a mullet? Should I grow it back and do that mullet? I've got so many Joe Dirt comments, it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it was good fun. Um, probably going to grow it straight back. Oh, okay. That's Maybe. news. I don't All know. right. I don't know. Um, we'll anyway. in four years for the next show. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get to it. Okay. How much we raised. Right. How much we donated to Love Your Sister. Yes. Uh, and we should uh, really let you know every single cent that goes to Love Your Sister goes to cancer research. Yes, they pass it all on. They don't take any admin fees or Nothing. anything like that from it. Yeah. Um, so, the total number. <gasps> Drum roll. <laughs> I, I can't do it. <laughs> I got it. You do the number. 20, it's over 23,000, so. And still going. And still going. So we can't give you an exact number because it is still ticking up with like the extra merch sales and stuff that we're doing. Yeah. Um, but it is with Grant and Bianca, um, Living Like Kings, they also had a separate page, so they've got over $1,000 in there as well. So, so 24 it's, grand. It's up over $24,000 that we've raised for Love Your Sister. Which we initially set out to raise five yeah. grand. Yes, I would have been stoked <laughs> with five grand, so uh, yeah, my mind is blown. Yeah, it it's makes awesome. us so happy, eh? Like, just everyone getting on board, having a good time, and Bring raising money yeah, like... at the same time. Uh, yeah, so what were you just saying? Make it a community? Oh, just like we just love the community vibe, like bringing everyone together. Everyone makes new friends and yep. just a really supportive environment. We just love that. Yeah, so. lots of people left with smiles on their faces, yeah. which is what we wanted. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you can still donate. We'll chuck up the QR code. You can still donate. If you want to chuck more money in there, go for it. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, we'd love to see that. Um, but to finish this off, how many questions did we get asked? How many... Let me say that again. How many times did we get asked, are we having it again next year? Oh, everyone. Every, everyone, <laughs> everyone I spoke to. Us. Yeah, and then we're actually getting emails, messages, people are just hitting us up. When's yep, next saying, year? Yeah, we'll next see you next happening? time. Because um, that was never a guarantee. No. We were just waiting to see when all the dust settled, how we felt about everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we can confirm, yes. Yes. We're going to do this again. Yes, we haven't stopped talking about it. We, no. we didn't need a break. We we said we were going to have a break. Yeah. But it didn't But happen. like the next day we were talking about what we were doing. So we are definitely yeah. having another one. So we're already in organising stage a week after 2024. Mm -hmm. um, we will not tell you anything until we have things confirmed. Yep. So keep an eye on all our socials. We will let you know. We'll put it out there. As soon as we have info on it, we'll let you know. Yes. But we are so excited. I just want to make this bigger and better. Yep. Make this into a thing that, you know, a community you guys know you can keep coming back every year. Yeah, everyone just enjoys the company, the music, the food, the vibe. Yeah. Uh, and all for a good cause. So. That's right. Uh, so let us know in the comments. Would you come next year? Yeah. Um, did you come this year and want to come again? Or did you miss out and you wish you had to come and you're going to come next year? Yeah. Leave it in the comments. Let us know. Um, that's about enough talking about Camp for a Kill, yeah? Yeah, I reckon. All right. Hey, um, Actually get into the real stuff yeah. now. Yeah. All right, so we'll jump in the episode now. This continues on with our journey up north. Uh, and then next week, you'll see the actual Camp for a Kill video? Yes. All right. See you then. Guys, you wouldn't bloody believe it, but that's our old JB. <laughs> <laughs> we pulled up in Childers uh, to dump the dunny. And it's, um, as we're doing it and just having a bit of a feed and stuff, they pull in. Yep. So How Darren, crazy. So Darren straight away. That's our old bit. Yeah, because you can still <laughs> see like the sticker on the front <laughs> where it used to be. That's wild. But yeah, they're a day to their trip. So yep. going yeah, the opposite cool. way, so we won't see them again. But good luck, guys. Yes, if you're watching. Yeah. Anything goes wrong. It does well for you. It wasn't me. If anything goes wrong. <laughs> Ooh, what a big day, guys. Big day of driving. <laughs> hey, Aaron. Yeah. What's the name of the place we're at? Marlborough. Yes, I've got the banana. So this is just a Puma 
servo, roadhouse, free camping out the back, nothing flash, just a dirt patch. That's all we need because it's um, pretty late. Yep. But and, it means uh, we've only got two hours to drive tomorrow yep. on New Year's Eve. So, yeah, for context, it's New Year's Eve tomorrow. And we're trying to get to Campbell Beach, which we've been before, uh, to my cousin's place. Because my other cousins are there too, so. Yeah, we wanted to spend New Year's with somebody. Mm, so we'll go um, see them. Not that we don't have any friends back home. <laughs> that made it sound like we don't have any yeah. friends. <laughs> yeah, we had, to, we had to drive 11 hours to go have New Year's with someone. Find someone who will spend it with us. <laughs> Uh. As you can see, where we've pulled up is um, quite questionable. All the long grass. <laughs> uh, this is what we do every time we get somewhere like this. We drive around, do four laps, and pick the worst spot to pull up. It's a talent. It's because someone doesn't listen. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> I parked under those beautiful gum trees. Yeah, with the storm coming. Uh, we did actually see photos of uh, a lot of caravans crushed by um, gum trees the other day, so mm. that's why we are completely avoiding them. And you know me, like Panica. everything's the worst level, so I don't want to be any part of parking near trees. Mm. But I did mention we should park just facing that way. <laughs> but no. Look. <laughs> no. I'm not perfect, <laughs> but I try. Anyway, enough of that. We're just having a simple dinner tonight. Just gonna reheat this potato bake on the Weber. And then we just got some um, uh, ribs. What kind of ribs? Lamb, Lamb ribs? Yep. Cook them up on the barbie. Have a nice easy one. Keep everything hooked up. Get on the road early tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Next up on things that I've done to the van and car, etc. Um, gas rag. A lot of you guys early on in the piece when we first ran out, Bertha told me that the gas rag was too low. It was uh, That was sitting down here and you could see the top of the bottle there. So a lot of you said um, you can't have the rag below the top of the bottles, which makes sense because um, uh, gas ices up if you have it, uh, like if you lay a bottle on its side, it'll ice up the, the top. Uh, so I just got a bit of alley that I had laying around and just punched that on, raised it up and um, so far so good. Everything seems to be running well. Yeah, we did have a bit of a, oh, not a major problem, but every now and then our, our hottie won't stay lit and the barbie has been an absolute pain to keep lit. So I'm wondering if that is the case because of this and whether we're good now. So be interesting to see how it goes. So that weather's come in. I don't know if you can hear it raining. It's uh, it's vlogging down. <laughs> what have we discovered? Discovered my linker, my window is now a waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> she leaking. Uh, it's going to be hard to see. We'll get some. That's I got some on my phone. Oh so. yeah, yeah. But. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, just got to figure out where it's coming in from. Oh yeah, it's a fair stream coming through. But when we open it a bit, it seems a bit better. I don't know. Anyway, I have to pull the window out and reseal it. So this is the TV for now. <laughs> the window, because the actual TV not working. This storm has chucked Star our Starlink off. Starlink's dropped out. Mm. Must be a big one. So I just realised, even though Starlink has dropped out, switched it back to the cowfish on the 5G on the antenna. We got internet. Hey. Yay. Back in action. This is my second They're freaking out about the lightning and thunder, but it's not that close. It's just rain and heat. But um, yeah, so there's about one bar of 4G here, but flicking on that um, fan connect, 
Uh, we're getting obviously heaps, we're at plenty of um, upload speed to, to stream. Awesome. Guys, we've made it to one of our favorite places so far that we've discovered up this way, mm -hmm. Campwin Beach. Uh, so this is, it's about half an hour south on the coast to, uh, from Mackay. Yeah. Now, we're staying here with my cousins, they live in the town. Uh, obviously we're just parked up on, on their lawn. Yes, you might remember that from a previous episode. We have um, been here before. Yeah. We don't really like coming places that you can't stay at. Uh, there is nowhere to camp here in Campland Beach itself. No. But just two beaches down, you've got Armstrong Beach. And yep. there is a beautiful caravan park there. And uh, like we said, there is Mackay. We can't Kind of itself. half an hour away, so. Yeah, but if you want to be right around here, there's all these little coastal beach towns. You've got Campland Beach, Grass Tree, Serena Beach, where the pub is. Mm -hmm. You can pretty much walk to all of them across the beaches. There's also a couple of things inland. So we're using this as a base to explore this like kind of greater Mackay area, but um, Finch Hatton Gorge is not far from here. So we might do that at some point. Yeah, Hillsborough, um, Hillsborough, Cape, Cape Hillsborough. Hillsborough. Yep. Um, so yeah, we're just going to try and use it to explore a lot of those places. Yeah, beautiful area though, very underrated. People think of Mackay and don't think much of it, but yeah, it's so beautiful. Stunning. Some yeah, it's amazing. We'll have to show you some of the places. It's it's really cool. Guys, this is what we have been keen for for so long. Finally got the trailer set up with the tinny. So this is the uh, Campwin Beach boat ramp. Beautiful boat ramp for such a small place, eh? And um, we're gonna get in here now. There's a little creek system. We've got some pots out there that we put out in um, Darren's boat the other day. But we're just gonna poke around here. It, wind's kicking up a little bit, but what do you do? But yeah, this, is, <laughs> this has been something we've wanted for so long. And we've had it there. We just never hooked it up, did we, Eric? No, nah, finally. <laughs> so good. It just makes a difference having a trailer, eh? Yep. Oh, let's get in there. Dropping down, everyone. Chuck your hat back on there. Speaking of hats, got the new bucket hats. They're on our website, nowanevaoz.com. Got all different kinds of hats on there now too. Truckers, the surf caps. So pretty much whatever style of hat you want, you can get it on there. Now, I don't know if Aaron got it on the drone, but I went ass over trying to start the motor. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, normally, normally I would have busted the plugger because it pulled so hard on the, on the, whatever these are called, but she's all good. Started to pull through, but I should just be able to push that back. It's good new, good as new. Except I did lose my little badge, my boomerang's badge. But anyway, it's been a while since we've been fishing, eh? It has. Oh, I, I did on Fraser, but you guys weren't there. But um, yeah, it's good to be back out in the boat. Let's hope we catch something, eh? <laughs> well, it's confirmed. We still absolutely suck at fishing. <laughs> but no one was debating that really, were they? <laughs> the boys are going off there, um, going to check their pots. We were following them, but it's so shallow that with four of us in the boat, we were just starting to um, hit sand. So we left them to it. Just having a fish here at the boat ramp. How'd you go? Seven in the last pipe, they're all, all female. Oh no. Bummer, no crab today.
o'clock we got up at an absolute sparrows park this morning. At three o'clock we um, got out of bed, drove an hour north to Cape Hillsborough, where you do the uh, wallabies and kangaroos on the beach. Fair few people here, but it was still cool. Didn't really get the sunrise that we wanted, but can't help that. Bit of an overcast day. But we're gonna go for a hike now. Apparently a couple of lookouts out over here. So we'll go suss that out. Check out the area. Definitely a little underprepared for that uh, climb. The three hours sleep last night, but but so worth it getting up the top there. It's awesome. Such a good view. So this island here, it's only accessible for four hours every day, two hours either side of low, which worked out perfectly because um, I think they were saying low is 7.30 today and it's, uh, I don't know, quarter to seven now. So yeah, I've already done a hike, checked out the uh, kangaroos, going over to what island, it's not even brekkie yet. So I always knew about Cape Hillsborough, as most of you would for the um, kangaroos on the beach. Mm. Like one of the most photographed part of your lap sort of places, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon. But I had no idea about those walks and the views and, and all that. That was, that was awesome. I feel like the views were the most spectacular part. Oh, yeah. They were amazing and I am absolutely not a morning person, but totally, <laughs> totally worth getting up early for. Worth the, worth the 3 a.m. wake up call. Yes. I don't know if the kids feel the same. What do you uh, reckon though, kids? Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're very tired, so we're going to have a fun rest of the day on our hands, but now um, Beck's taking us out to Seaforth. Yep, we're going to have some brekkie there, go check out Seaforth. And then to a cool water hole apparently, yeah, so... We need a swim now, that sun has come out. Yeah. It is hot. It's good to have a local showing us around. What a brekkie, eh? Healthy brekkie. Couple of pies. <laughs> need it though. Crumb sausages, tater scallops. <laughs> Quarter past eight. <laughs> it feels like it's midday though. That's right, let mum slip down first. Yep. So this is a little um oh. <laughs> so this is the little local known um swimming hole. Bit of a waterfall by the looks. It's pretty spectacular. Bit of a <laughs> bit of an entrance in though. was an unreal swimming hole. So apparently it's called 40 footer. I don't know if it's on maps or anything, but um, 
We won't tell you where it is in case it's a bit of a local thing. Yeah, you can find it for yourself, but so good. And we ended up having it to ourselves by the end of it. Hey, thanks so much for watching everyone. We're gonna leave that episode there. Tune in next week where we're gonna do the full Camp for a Cure rundown. And then the week after that, we'll get back into exploring the Mackay and Whit Sundays region. Uh, thanks for watching once again. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.